So those dates will be? The dates of the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. In the order of the course of Foxborough, Wentworth Hills, Heather Hill, and Norton. Now this will be the third straight year at Norton, I do believe? I believe so. Yes, yes. I think so. I believe I, so, yeah. Definitely was there last year when Patrick Joyce won. Right? Yes. And how was that determined? Um, uh, availability of courses? Uh, availability is number one, yeah. and then we do try to rotate so that Foxborough has it um, at least every fourth year. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, we used in the old days, uh, Highland would always want Friday, except for the one in every four years where they had it on the final day, because that's when you get the biggest crowd, the biggest crowd's going to eat the most food and drink, drink the most drinks. Uh, Normally, Heather Hill and Wentworth Hills are squished in uh, that Friday and Saturday. Foxborough likes to be the first day. If they can't be the fourth day, they want to be the first day. So we, we try to go along with the wishes of the, of the golf courses. And the reason for that is courses that have memberships. Oh, ab absolutely. Uh, I don't want to say you want to take care of the members, but the members are paying dues. They absolutely, absolutely, absolutely able to play on the weekend. We, we would not have any tournaments if it wasn't for the uh, golf courses making themselves available to uh, to our events. So yeah, we 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 don't step on any toes. We we you know if they say we can't do the first day this year, but we can do the fourth. You know we try to accom accommodate them. Years ago, you had Locust Valley, which was a yeah. nine-hole course. Uh, that was the site of a. Uh, filming of uh, uh, what's what's that series with the uh, oh the Living Dead huh? yeah the, the Living Dead oh, and then God. they moved over to Highland, Highland Country for, to the to the clubhouse at Highland <laughs> for a those those two courses are gone yeah so it's it, it, it's truly the Living Dead now <laughs> courses like Locust and Highland close. Uh, how much of a challenge is that? There's talk Heather Hill will eventually become a 55 and older community. What would that do to the AAGA? Yeah, I think, you know, if Heather Hill um, does close, which it seems inevitable that it will happen, it's more a question of when, um, it'll be make the AAGA's challenges that much tougher, and it'll also make, you know, the North Adderall High School golf team Oh, that's right. Situation and Fian plays that much. there as and, well, and Bishop Fian High School plays there as well. So, um, it'll introduce a whole new set of challenges that um, um, I don't think any of us are prepared for yet. But um, it, it's likely going to happen. Maybe not this year, but yeah, we 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 are, we're trying to be as proactive as we can. Last fall, I went up and introduced myself to the new ownership at Hillside Golf Course in Rehoboth. And the reason why is Hillside used to be an active course and member of the AGA, And so I said, why, why not reach out to them? Well, I met the owner, he, we clicked it, we hit it off, I gave my schedule, and now it's up to the Hillside members to take advantage of our events, but they are eligible no matter where they live if they play their golf and their members up at Hill, Hillside. So we're, we're also looking at other places we are, you know, as I said, we're, we're, we're trying to plan for the future and be proactive and not be reactive. Now, on the other side, uh, I remember the first year when the Open was played, it was 1961, I'm that old, it was a two-day event. And then for years, it was a three-day event. Friday was always at Locust, and they'd have the cut. George and whatever George Fredette shot, that was what the cut was, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so it's we we you know if we had to cut back from four days to three days, so so be it, you know. Hopefully that won't be the case. 